Hey everybody, it's Delvon Johnson, your host here with Fashion in the Fast Lane. I'm here with the model icon, Mr. Tyson Beckford. Uh, Tyson, how are you this evening? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, what brings you out tonight? Uh, I came to support the film, you know, um, you know, they asked me to come, so I came. That's fantastic, you're looking great tonight. Uh, what, what are you wearing? Uh, it's a custom made suit by Alexander Nash here in New York, so you know. That's all, that's all I like to wear now, something that fits me, because I'm always, you can't take stuff off the shelf anymore. It don't fit me right, so, you know. I have that same issue, because I'm kind of small, so I have that same kind of problem going on. Tell us, um, what, what projects are you working on? Are you still doing modeling? Are you acting? I know I see you here and there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really doing so much modeling anymore, just, uh, just straight acting now. Uh, I have a new movie coming out, Chocolate City, comes out May 22nd, and it's a Paramount film, and I'm excited for that to come out. We'll start promoting that very soon. Uh, I've already done a few uh, magazines and talk shows already about it, but, you know, May 22nd is the release date. All right, well, tell everybody how we can, we can we, I know we have plenty of followers, so tell everybody how they can reach you and follow you, you know, in, in, with regards to the movie and all like that. Uh, I'm at Tyson C. Beckford. That's it, basically. Uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat, pretty much all the same, at Tyson C. Beckford. And my uh, website is TysonCBeckford.com. It's Tyson C. Beckford. <laughs> Tyson, thank you for the interview. We're, again, we're here at the Blackbird movie premiere. Keep it locked here, right here with Fashion in the Fast Lane. Everybody, it's Delvon we're Johnson in. here again at the Blackbird premiere for Fashion in the Fast Lane. And I am here with one of the um, actresses of the movie. Her name is Dee Woods, and she plays Leslie in the film. How are you this evening? Wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. You look, you're looking gorgeous. I'm loving your ensemble. What are you wearing before we get into the movie? Well, this dress is Sheena Trevelli. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm not sure which collection it's from, but it's it's fabulous. I love it. I absolutely love it. it it's I got my feathers for Blackbird. It's all the white feathers though, but it's still birds. <laughs> That's awesome. So tell us a little about your role in the in the film. Well, um, I have a supporting cast uh, role. I'm one of the friends of the main character, uh -huh. Randy Russo, played by Julian Walker. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, she's the, the, pre the preacher's daughter, the preacher's kid. Oh. So, you know, she gets into a little mischievous, you know, oh. activities because, as preacher's kids do, want to kind of break out Loose. of that yeah. that little, you know, title. And, you know, it's a coming-of-age story. Mm -hmm. All the characters have, like, a, a pinnacle, like, change. And Leslie definitely goes through one herself. <laughs> and now tell us a little bit. Now, uh, have you had some other acting roles, or are you new with it? It's one of your first roles, or...? What else, what else have you done? Well, I definitely, I, I came up in theater um, growing up. I studied at New York University's Tisch School of Arts and do, do a lot of theater in Atlanta with Kenny Leon's True Colors Theater, um, as well as I was a part of the um, youth ensemble of Atlanta in high school. So, you know, I've, I've been around a lot and more in the theater world, but this is probably like my most challenging role for screen, and um, I'm glad that I have the platform to do it, and this is like a great way to, to introduce myself to this audience. So we're gonna, we gonna be looking for you in Hollywood soon, right? I hope so, yes. <laughs> well, Dee, thank you so much for stopping by and talking with Fashion in the Fast Lane. Um, you guys keep it locked right here. We're again here at the Black Beer, Blackbird premiere, and I'm here with Dee Woods, um, that plays Leslie in the film. All right, everybody, again, it's Delvon Johnson here with Fashion in the Fast Lane at the Blackbird premiere, and I'm standing here with Anna McCormack and Proteus Spann. They are the stars of the hit a new play, Invisible Life by Elin Harris. And let me tell you, this is one of my favorite books. I can tell you that right now. And I'm actually an author, and he, he um, actually inspired me to write my books and where I began. So it's a pleasure to have you guys right here with Fashion in the Fast Lane. Let me correct you first. I'm not the star of the show. I'm the producer and the owner. Oh, that's even better. Elin Harris brand. So maybe we could talk. But Anne McCormick, she'll be playing the role of Candace. Oh, yes! Remember, doesn't she make a perfect Candace? Oh, absolutely. Now, Candace is the, the young lady that was um, fooled by Basil. And Basil's, um, girlfriend, Basil's right? Girlfriend. And she ended up sick. Ended up sick. So, oh yeah, I remember. That was that was like 20 years ago. I read that book. book. This is the 20th anniversary. Absolutely. Of Invisible Life, and uh, it's such an honor to be bringing it to the Apollo Theater stage on June 25th through 30th. So everyone need to go out and get their tickets. It's limited tickets. It's only $18, but it's an incredible show. All original music by Ashford and Simpson, so you know it's incredible. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. House music by um, DJ Teddy Douglas of the Basement Boy, the homeless La Da Dee Da Dee Da, Crystal Waters. So everyone will be singing and dancing in the aisles. I promise you that. Who is playing Raymond? 
You have to come and see. Oh, see. But everyone wants to know who was playing Basil. I've done a search. Oh, I just I, I just came from Atlanta. I held audition in Atlanta in Los Angeles. We're holding auditions again here in New York in search of Basil because Basil is such an important character. Yes, he is, huh? And everyone loved Basil. The women love Basil, the men love Basil, and Basil loved Basil. <laughs> yes, he did. And every and every book from Invisible Life moving on up, straight through, right? If it's all about Basil. Now, when are the days for? When are the days again? It's June 25th, which, which is a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And it goes Thursday, Friday, two shows on Saturday, which happens to be Gay Pride Weekend. And then Monday and Tuesday is the last show. So it's not too late for you to come audition. Oh, well, well oh, okay, I'll, I'll think about that. Which role? Um, Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It was such a pleasure talking to you guys. Again, catch um, Invisible Life at the Apollo Theater, June 25th. Thank you guys so much, um, Anna and um, Proteus, and we'll see you soon. Okay, keep it right here. Hey everybody, it's Delvon Johnson here again at the Blackbird premiere, and I am here with the star of the evening, honey, Miss Miss Monique herself. Miss Monique, how are you this evening? I am wonderful, baby. The star has already arrived, and that's Julian Walker. Oh, oh yes, I'm yes. A part, okay? Absolutely wonderful, and excited, and just honored to be a part of this amazing film. It's just such a pleasure to meet you because a lot of the roles that you've played recently are just being these, these mean mamas that's yelling and screaming and, and knocking people out and carrying on, but you're just not that person. So, so how, how is it when you're, when you're casted for those roles? Well, I play honest mamas. Uh -huh. Some people may say mean, uh -huh. but I play honest mothers. Mm -hmm. Nikki Parker was very honest. Yes. Mary Jones was very honest. Yes. Uh, Claire Russo, she's very honest. Yes. So they're not mean moms, mm -hmm. they're just giving you their truth and their honesty. How you perceive it is one thing, yes. but when you understand, Mary Jones was mentally ill. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to put mean on mental illness. Right. Claire Russo is based in her faith and she believes what she believes. Is she mean mm -hmm. or is she just conditioned to believe one way and don't know how to believe any way else? Yeah. So tell us a little about a bit about your journey in, in getting this this um, part in Blackbird. Um, tell us a little bit about that, because that's I'm sure it was Isaiah Washington and I share the same attorney, Ricky Anderson, uh -huh. and that amazing brother. Mm -hmm. And I think he's one of the greatest actors of our generation. Mm -hmm. He's just incredible. He called up our attorney, Ricky Anderson, and he said, I have something here that I really believe Monique and Sydney mm -hmm. would want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. He sent us that he talked to Sydney, sent us a script. By the time Sydney and I read page one, we were like, sign us up, baby, because this right here is amazing. We talked to Patrick. He was like, oh, my God, for real? We were like, brother, oh, my God, for real. So, you know, just really proud to be a part of something that means something and is saying something. Well, you know what? It was a pleasure speaking with you. They are making me wrap this up because the movie has got to start. And I'm very excited to see what's going on. Oh, well, th well, thank you. So Monique told, she told me in, in Living Color, I'm doing it, so. Thank you so much, Monique. Again, it's Delvon Johnson here with Fashion in the Fast Lane, and we are at the premiere of Blackbird, and we are going in now to get into it.